right here we have two options for scene. We have allowed websites and blocked websites. So depending on what you want to do, so for example, allowed websites, meaning they can only go to the ones that are on there. I'm gonna go ahead and create a, uh, a blocked ones and I'm gonna go ahead and call this just limited tabs. And I can set a color for this. I'm gonna set it to pewter. Up here I'll hit next. Uh, keyword or website that I want to block. Um, if I didn't want students to be able to um, access YouTube, I would go ahead and hit search. Maybe there's a reason that I didn't want them to have YouTube during this time. And then right here, another big one is you can go through and set the number of tabs that you wanted to have open. So knowing that we're going to have class link be one tab and then maybe they have to get the classroom and then they need to be able to get to one link off of Classroom like a Google Doc, so then I would go through and set it to three tabs. I do have an option right here to auto open tabs if there's a website that you always wanted the students to have open when, when the session starts for your class, you can go ahead and put that in, for example, a textbook or any other materials that you may drive and use. Um, so I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna save this. So now you can see under Aaron's, I have a black website called Limited Tabs. And if I wanted to set this as a default scene, meaning every time this class runs, this is what I would like us to do, I can go ahead and set, set that right here under Edit Class, Default Scene, Limited Tabs. I'm gonna click on Update Classroom. And then um, when I look here, you can't really notice it when you're looking at this class. It's always going to be right here under the default scenes where you can go through and run this. Other things that you can do within uh, here is if you have a co-teacher. So if I go ahead and go to teacher, to add a teacher up here on the right hand side, I'm going to click on the green button and I'm going to go ahead and type in the name of the co-teacher and then you get an option of what you would like the teacher to be. Uh, I could have it be the owner, the teacher or the helper. Because this is through PowerSchool, we're not going to make that teacher the owner, but you can go ahead and have somebody be a co-teacher and then go ahead and click on add teacher there. What does that mean? That teacher will then have the option and ability to see that class as well that was set up. So that is uh, a great one. We can also run some student reports here where you can choose your classroom, the name of the student, and the date range, and then you can view a report if you uh, have concerns about what the student was doing, doing within class. So again, classrooms are gonna be set up uh, to automatically run. Uh, another cool feature is you can check right here if a website's gonna be blocked by GoGuardian. If you're doing something and you're like, I'm not quite sure if it's gonna be blocked, this is gonna be your option. Click there, enter in the URL, and then you can go ahead and check your website. And notice it says YouTube is gonna be blocked by this scene um, because that is one that I set up there. So you can go ahead and copy and paste websites to check to see if it would be blocked by GoGuardian.